All right. That, of course, there's a fucking glitch. Either way. Hi, guys. Um, not sure who all saw my live stream yesterday, but it turned out crap. So I'm here doing this instead because I want to be able to have a high quality video for you guys to know. Um, two things still. I mean, I'm just going to go over everything we went over in the live stream that I've privated because it was crap. So yeah. Um, yeah. First things first is I'm a VTuber now, or at least I have a model. Um, I'm not with any agency or anything like that. Uh, YouTube is still a very much so part-time thing. Uh, still bringing no revenue, but, uh, but yeah, either way. So, hi, this is my model. Let me know what you think. Uh, it's not possible, you know, without you guys, without your support, without your subscriptions and everything like that. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> this is kind of the uh, first video that I have going for it. And I'm going to see how it works. But second thing is I've left the veil. Uh, spark notes I left because things are getting way too dramatized for a game that it should be um, accusations of people hacking into someone else's phone and stealing pictures for blackmail um, favoritism and other things like that and it's just not something that I think would be fun to stream and I wanted to leave before it affected me personally. Now that's just stuff that I've only heard. There are some things that I will cover later. I'm not going to name drop or anything like that and it's stuff that I have seen so I can confirm uh, what happened there but um, yeah either way that's just the spark notes of why I left the veil and I do know for a fact that a player on there is taking things way too far it's a game there's no need to sit there and go to other discord groups that people from the veil have joined because they're still wanting a roleplay experience and going in there harassing them uh, pretty much showing all the robberies and such that have happened that you have recorded and just reminding them of oh hey by the way this is what I did to you ha 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 you're never gonna be able to do anything about it I'm better than you yada 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 so yeah dude just don't why like what does that bring other than you being a complete dick I mean there, there's no other way to put it um, not name dropping or anything like that, but still, it's just, it's not cool. Let shit go. And also bullying a dude who just joined the veil off of the veil with your first interaction. I mean, I get it. hostile roleplay is a thing and you know, hostile roleplay is kind of the lifeblood of roleplay servers. It adds a risk and adds a reward. I mean, short, sweet, simple, to the point. Just like I believe certain roleplay servers should have KOS zones for high tier loot. Because if everyone's walking around with little to no threat of dying, you know, what's the risk? What's the reward? But that's just my personal feelings on it. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. <sighs> um, yeah, so that's, you know, the more or less general gist of everything. And I wanted to leave the veil before it affected me personally. Uh, a lot of the people that I knew on the veil left. My group wanted to leave the veil, but they did say that they would stay if I wanted to stay. But I don't want to sit there and force people into having a bad time just for content. So, yeah. Um, you know, ultimately, it was my decision to leave the veil. And I left. I still enjoy the veil. I still love the story, the world that they all created, but things are getting too. Uh, what's the word? 
sorry discord notification um what's the word though getting too getting too personal there are too many accusations being thrown around and I felt like if I had stayed on the veil I would have ended up taking it personally and I didn't want to leave with a bad taste in my mouth so uh, me and my group are all migrating to another server uh, the stream will be up later today actually probably here in the next half hour to an hour so yeah um, and you'll get to see my VTuber model a little more and yeah, yeah but uh but yeah that's that's pretty much the spark notes on it a um, little more about the VTuber model it's still very very basic right now I don't have arm movements or anything like that because all this is being done for free <laughs> like I've not put any money into the VTuber model even though I probably should have but oh well <sighs> but it does come with some basic emotes and everything like that I'll run through those real quick with you guys so you know huh huh and you know neutral and, and I will say this some of them look painful I, I think this is supposed to be joy but it looks like I'm dying on the inside <laughs> uh yeah yeah I'm, this is not good and then anger because everyone needs to be a little pissed off at times <sighs> uh trying to remember oh yeah laughter I'm not gonna laugh because my uh my fake laugh is kind of ass. I kind of hate my laugh in general, but either way, that's beside the point. Personal issues. <laughs> uh, and sadness. Like, what? Uh, what do you mean Hookley's dead? I just saw her yesterday. And I don't believe there's any... Yeah, that's all the toggles I have. But, um, yeah, no, things will evolve with the model if it's received well and if people do like it. Um... As for, you know, inspiration for my model, I'm not going to lie. Straight up anime. Which, then again, that's most VTuber models is straight up anime. Um, I guess my two inspirations were near Automata. Word salad. Near Automata and Darling in the Franks. You know, call me a weeb. But, you know, the white hair, icy blue eyes, you know, from 2B and the under eye red from zero two and the fangs from zero two ah uh, yeah but uh yeah i was gonna do horns but i was thinking nah let's keep it let, let's keep the vtuber look mild now in the future i don't know what i'm gonna do things will change my outfit will change facial structure uh not that's not necessarily facial structure i do kind of kind of like this one but uh you know hairstyles and outfit and everything else will change and might even be able to move my arms but nope for right now i'm just you know i'm stephen hawking ah. hello <laughs> oh god that was a bad joke but i don't i don't know either way that's the uh that's the basic gist of it all and I do hope you guys enjoy the VTuber model. Um, it's something that I've wanted to do for a while. And I think it's per I think it's really cool, to be honest. It's... I know... What was it? In my first Veil stream? Maybe second? I was sitting there talking about, Yeah, I'd love to become a VTuber in the future. But it just costs too much money. And, well, I found out how to do it by myself for free. So yeah um either way thank you guys y'all are all awesome i hope you continue to follow me and see what i'm doing in the future for content now uh now that i've left the veil because i do know that the veil pretty much made my youtube channel what it was and so yeah i genuinely thank you all for the experiences that i had on there all the role play and everything 
I thank you all for liking my videos, watching. I've had several people come up and say, yo, yeah, we loved your videos. You have great role play and everything like that, which I mean, I, I, I greatly appreciate. Um, I've always thought I was mediocre at best at role play, but oh well. Either way, thank you guys so, 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 so much. If you stay on the Veil, I don't blame you. It's a fun server, but I feel like it's best if I left before I took anything personally and left with a bad taste in my mouth. And if you did leave the Veil, feel free to contact me. I know a couple good roleplay servers, or if you're looking for PvP servers, I know a couple of those too. Um, yeah, but either way, thank you guys so, so, so much. None of this would have been possible without you. So, in the meantime, stay safe, stay sexy, and most importantly of all, stay alive. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.